Why England left the Catholic Church in 60 seconds? Let's do it! In 1517, a German monk called Martin Luther writes a list of 95 things about the Catholic Church that really grind his gears. His ideas spread around the continent, and his followers argue that priests, bishops, and the Pope himself aren't in the Bible. At the same time in England, King Henry VIII wants to annul his marriage to his wife, Catherine. She's had six children, but no boys surviving infancy, and he really wants a son. So he's totally infatuated with his wife's lady-in-waiting, Anne Boleyn. Henry asks the Pope for an annulment, but the Pope says no. So Henry says, all right, I don't need you anyway, I'm the head of the Church in England, not you. He demands to be recognised as the head of the Church in England. Anyone who disagrees is publicly and bloodily executed. Since he's head of the church now, way he can grant himself the annulment. Now Henry controls all the English monasteries, he has them closed, seizes their gold, and sells off the land to the highest bidder. To this day, lots of aristocrats in this country live on former nunneries, priories, and abbeys. He also starts bringing in Lutheran reforms, like getting rid of saints' days and having the Bible in English. But at the same time, he's not interested in religion, really. He's more interested in power. It's his children that give the English church the shape it has today. Especially this one, Elizabeth I. She executes a lot of Catholics who, in return, try and assassinate her. By the end of her reign, Catholics are a persecuted minority where they'll stay until the 19th century.